guys, welcome back to Tasmania TV. In today's video, I am doing my collective haul for September. And we have a mix of all kinds of stuff to look at from thrifted items to makeup and Halloween items. And before we get into it, I just want to mention two things. First, I am currently growing out my hair in case you haven't noticed. I haven't trimmed it for a month now and I plan on leaving it the fuck alone until it is at a length when I'm ready to cut and dye it. So I'm kind of challenging myself a little bit by not allowing myself to do anything and it's getting pretty fuzzy. We're entering into Mon Shishi territory, but it is fall and winter is coming soon, so I'll be able to hide under a beanie when it gets too awful, so I just want to mention that. And secondly, in my collective hauls, I always pre-record the scenes where I show you the items, or in the case of clothing, when I try them on. So that is why my hair, makeup, and clothing will vary throughout this video, because everything has been recorded during different times. And the reason I do this is because it means I don't have to gather everything in a pile and save it somewhere until it's time to record. I can just record the items as I get them and then record the intro and voiceover for the video when it's time to edit. So that's what I'm doing today. Just to let you know how I like to do this kind of video. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. Let's take a look at what I got. First off, I purchased two razor blade earrings from a woman on Facebook. I have been wanting these for a long ass time and I finally got them, so yay. Since my earlobes are stretched, I don't wear normal earrings. Instead, I twist the loop thingy of the earring so that I can wear it through my tunnels. And I like mismatching my earrings, so I only needed one of those for my ears. The other I attached to a chain and turned into a necklace. And I'm super happy with how it came out and they look awesome together, don't you think? Next, I went to a large outdoor flea market with my husband. Had an amazing time and I got four items, but I'm only gonna show you three out of the items because the fourth will reveal my Halloween look for this year. And you guys know that I don't reveal in advance what I'm gonna go as for Halloween. But I will have a small reveal for my Halloween look later in this video if you're interested in that. But yeah, from the flea market, I got two pairs of shoes and a skirt. Let's take a look at the shoes first. Both pairs are sneakers, which I don't usually wear. I don't have that many pairs of sneakers. I usually wear docks or other kinds of boots, but I have lately decided that it's maybe a good idea to have some sneakers. For one, they're pretty comfortable. So I just decided to include more sneakers into my shoe wardrobe. The first pair are solid black Pumas. And yes, they are dirty in this shot. Sorry about that. But they are nice and simple. No other colors or unnecessary details which I actually like. They're very discreet, which I sometimes need, especially for work and stuff. The second pair are faux leather Converse style sneakers, but they're not real Converse. It says made in China in them. They're all black with a zebra print detail in the back, which I loved. They're nice and soft. Like the black ones, they're pretty simple, but slightly more fun because of the zebra detail. I paid 20 Swedish krona for the zebra ones and 40 for the pumas, which is nothing short of awesome. I love thrifting! And the third flea market item is this leopard print skirt. I paid 10 Swedish krona for this and it is a standard short model in a soft jersey fabric. This is actually my favorite skirt model because it's just so simple in its style and it's easy to accessorize. I'm very happy with this. Next, I went to Dollar Store with a friend of mine to browse for Halloween items. We were unfortunate enough to pick a Dollar Store shop that had very little Halloween decorations in store. We were so disappointed. So there's not gonna be a lot of stuff in this video. I was hoping to acquire a bunch of cool stuff, but I got little bits and bobs and I also got some other non-Halloween related items. And there are some Christmas items in there too. Their Christmas section was actually larger than their Halloween section in September. It's ridiculous. Anyway, let's start off by looking at the Halloween items. I got two of these glass jack-o'-lantern candle holders that I really like. Simple and cute and just easy to throw on a table and get some atmosphere. I got a big pack of fake candles with extra batteries. I absolutely love these and I have placed them all over the living room. No risk of a fire when it's fake, so yay! I also got a plastic table covering with spider webs on it. We always make a mess mixing cocktails during our Halloween parties. This will protect our poor kitchen table. I got two kinds of paper garlands, one triangular shaped one and one pumpkin shaped. Always fun to have those. I got two baggies of creepy crawlers, namely spiders and centipedes. I also got creepy crawly gummy candies for a party. I used to love these when I was a kid, so I was happy to find them again. 
I got zombie finger lollipops and I got these twisted lollies as well. Here is one of my favorites out of the Halloween stuff. It is one of those warning signs that usually alert people to slippery floors. But this one says, danger, everything can go sideways or everything can go down the drain, depending on how you want to translate the expression. The literal translation from Swedish is everything can go to the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish sayings are pretty weird. Then I got two black plastic bowls with skeleton hand details and glitter. Those were all the Halloween related items. Like I said, not that much unfortunately, but still a little bit and there's still time to get more from other shops. So let's take a look at the non-Halloween related items now. First off, a sort of lumberjack cap in black and red checkered pattern. They have these warm flaps that you can pull down over your ears or snap in place so that they stay up. I don't have much hair and it gets pretty cold during winter here, so I thought that this was a fun change to my usual beanies and whatnot. The air flaps are perfect for my stretched lobes too, as a regular beanie sometimes slides off of those and they get cold. This way they stay warm. I also got a pack of two leopard print notepads and a pencil. Both pads are lined, which is how I prefer it. These are perfect for taking notes during meetings or client calls. I also got a set of false eyelashes in purple and black. Always fun to have. I don't have a plan for these, but I'm sure I'll find use for them somehow. I then tried yet another nude liquid lipstick. I'm on the hunt for the perfect one, but this shade turned out to be way too apricot for me. So I haven't used it and the quality wasn't all that great either. So wah, wah. I got two glue sticks, always running low on those. And I got two chapsticks. I hate being without chapstick. And from the Christmas section, I got this cute little reindeer couple. And then a set of three decorative silver packages. A large one, a medium sized one, and a small one. And these all have battery packs and light strands on the inside. So you can put them under the tree and have them light up. I thought they were so cute, so I had to get them, even though Christmas is months away. And the final two items from Dollar Store ended up being my favorites out of everything that I got. They are these two decorative fake bugs that I immediately put in our living room window when I got home. They are so gorgeous. Just two little fat guys on display. I absolutely love these. That was everything from Dollar Store and I know I didn't say any of the prices here. I was just kind of rushing through everything to show you quickly. But some of the price tags are visible in the video. But for the rest you can just trust me when I tell you that it was really cheap. So here comes the sneak peek at my Halloween look for this year, well at least one of the tiny little details from it without revealing what it is. I got a pair of contact lenses. The brand is called Eye Fusion and they are from the UK. They are purple but with a black frame and a sort of freaky little twist that I really liked. Here is what they look like on. I absolutely love these and I can't wait to use them for Halloween or other occasions when I need purple eyes. Next, I'm just quickly gonna show you a t-shirt that my husband got for me. It is a band tee from the awesomely named band Femi Nazgul. They are a metal band and you can check them out on Spotify if you like. The t-shirt looks awesome and as per usual, I will turn it into a tank top because that's how I roll. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I have been on the hunt for the perfect nude liquid lipstick for a long ass time and I've been disappointed many times trying different brands and shades and whatnot, but I have finally found the product for me and it's actually the lipstick that I'm wearing today. It is called the Megalast Liquid Cat Suit and it is from Wet n Wild, so it is cruelty free. The shade is called Rebel Rose and it is the perfect shade for my lips so I'm very happy with this and I love the applicator because it has a twist sort of in the shape at the bottom so it follows the lip shape perfectly and makes it super easy to apply. It's long lasting and dries after application which is what I want. I prefer liquid lipsticks to regular ones as those suckers always end up all over my teeth but since a liquid lipstick dries it stays in place perfectly. So yeah, very, very happy with that. And the final item this month is a new camera. Woo woo. As you guys know, I work professionally producing videos and photos, among other things. And I have several cameras at my disposal, but I did not have a compact camera. So I decided that it was time to get one. Sometimes when I'm working, I am both recording video and snapping shots at the same time. And it can be a hassle running around with different kinds of cameras and a tripod and whatnot. The Canon PowerShot G9X Mark II will allow me to easily snap photos while I'm on the run. For instance, when I'm working at a social gathering where the guests are moving around. It is fast, precise, and it takes amazing photos 
colors even in bad lighting, which is really what I wanted. So I'm very excited to use this both for work and privately. It connects to my phone super easy, so I can use it for Instagram or Facebook photos whenever I want higher quality than what my phone can offer, which is great. I paid about 4,000 Swedish krona for this, and here is a short video where I'm using it to film. I am actually not planning on using it primarily for videos because I have my awesome Panasonic cams for that, but it will likely still act as a video camera at some point, like for some of my come with me videos when it's just not very handy to shove a huge camera in people's faces and just have a tiny one. Instead of, again, using the phone on my camera, you get higher quality that way. So I'm very pleased with this and I can't wait to start using it. Those were actually all the items that I got this month. If you have any questions about the items featured, turn to the comment section. And if I have any further information, I will put that in the caption box to this video. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, do no harm, but take no shits. I'll see you next time.